we have a new national Bloomberg politics poll hot off the presses. It shows Hillary Clinton leading Donald Trump by double digits in a head-to-head -head general election matchup, 49% to 37%. This poll was conducted from Friday to Monday, so the shooting in Orlando occurred while it was in the field, making it the first major telephone survey conducted since the attack. Yesterday, we added a few questions related to that tragedy, including one that asked likely voters which presidential candidate they think would be better as commander-in-chief at handling an event similar to the one in Orlando. 45% said Trump and 41% said Hillary Clinton. 15% said they weren't sure. Mark, we will have more from this poll and we will talk with our pollster Ann Selzer later in the program. But just from the little bit we've discussed so far, what do you think and what do you find most striking about these numbers? Well, the survey shows what a lot of Democrats and Republicans have been saving, saying privately, which is in the run-up to Orlando, based on the events of the last 10 days or so, and in, and in the wake of Orlando, Hillary Clinton is, uh, is showing herself at her best, and Donald Trump is struggling with all but his core supporters. Clinton at 49, Sanders and uh, Trump at 37. I won't say that's her ceiling in his floor, and Republicans uh, certainly hope that that's not the case, but that is, a, that is a, uh, a spread that's about as wide as you can imagine in a polarized world with her edging towards 50 percent. And our poll is going to confirm what a lot of private data has said and what a lot of Republicans are afraid of, which is that Trump may now be pretty far behind in this race as a snapshot of where we are right now. Right. And let's, and let's just be clear. You know, I, I described the timing of this, but this, essentially this poll takes into full account uh, Donald Trump's problems, the problems he made for himself by making those racist comments about Judge Curiel um, and, and getting a day after day of negative news <clears throat> coverage for doing so, criticism from the left, the right, the center, from all over the place. It does also include just this one night of polling uh, since Orlando. Um, so that's the, the time frame here. What, what it doesn't include... Hey, John, it also... Yeah, yeah. It also, inclu it also includes, of course, the coming together of the Democratic Party with President Obama coming uh, yes. in behind Hillary Clinton, along with Joe Biden, the First yes. Lady, and Elizabeth Warren. And yes. so while Trump has been struggling in the media, uh, Clinton has had a story uh, working towards unity. Right. That's true. I, and and, and it, it, I would actually even add further to that. The one thing it doesn't include is it doesn't include the full unity of the Democratic Party yet, because as we'll talk about later on the show, Bernie Sanders not yet endorsed Hillary Clinton. And so there's still some part of the Democratic Party that's not on board the Clinton bandwagon. So she probably still could benefit or will benefit in terms of her polling strength when that eventuality occurs. We're not sure when it will occur, but it probably will. And when it does, she's going to get some more good news and more uh, more of a lift in the polling. So uh, I agree with you 100%. You know, the horse race is, is ugly. I, I would say, though, that it is, is, is striking, um, although it's within the margin of error, it's striking in terms of our, our post-Orlando questions uh, that more, uh, more voters say that they think Donald Trump would be a good commander in chief in a situation such as this, Trump still has a few percentage point leads, again, within the margin of error, but he's, he leads her on that. He also leads her in the attributes uh, that she, he's better, he, that voters see him as better at handling terrorism in general. So uh, that's also consistent with some things we have seen in past polling, but it's uh, worth noting here.